I'm Ellen McCauley in Syracuse, New York. We're talking about weight, clutter, changing our lives, mind, body, soul, environment. Crash dieting doesn't work, neither does crash organizing. I could put all 50 or 60 bins on the curb or recycle it, whatever. I think it would be traumatizing for me. Besides, the deed to the house might be in one of those bins. I think there might be important <laughs> stuff in there. So the thing is, is that going to work? Or do I need a method? Both weight loss and organization require permanent changes in your habits and routines. One thing that helped me is my kids did graduate from college and high school, all but one, and the papers and things and report cards started getting less and less. So I didn't have to worry about keeping those up. Plus, people sent emails, so I get less and less letters, so I didn't have to save them. But a moment on the lips a lifetime on the hips, we all hear that. But how about you go to a train <coughs> show and they're giving away free pens. And you come home with a shopping bag with 50 pens. You got more pens than years you're gonna live probably, but you're there swiping that free stuff, it's free. I have trouble with free, does anyone have trouble with free? I have trouble with waste. They were going to throw away, I told you, like 500 pens because they did the wrong phone number. And I'm like, I'll take the pens. Here's one of them right here. The thing is, we need to control it. And I love this. Here are examples of places that are cl the clutter calorie equivalent of going to Krispy Kreme. Garage sales, flea markets, souvenir shops, discount stores, used bookstores, and shoe stores. Or my favorite places. Those are my favorite places. I would rather go to a garage sale than the mall. I, I just love it. I need to be discerning though. One thing I've gotten really good with with the mail. You're supposed to touch the mail once. You get a bill, boom, you pay it. You get a, a, a junk mail, recycle it. If you're taking the mail and stacking it on your dining room table so that you have no room to eat, can anyone not eat at their dining room table because there's stuff all over it? Couple people. They're rich. Look, I like what they do. <laughs> Maybe if I do this, I'll get credit for being honest, but no one but Ellen can see me. <laughs> I do, Ellen. I can't even eat anywhere in my house. That's me. We, and here's one thing I did. Every year we get our taxes done, right? Everyone gets their taxes done. Starting January 1, I have a tax book. Every time I get a receipt, I give money to Holy Family, boom, put it in there. Every time I do something, it's in it. When it's time to get my taxes done, I grab the book, I can go. That's the new Ellen. That's the pray it off Ellen. So see, you all thought I was terrible in all areas. No, I'm getting better in a few. Work, I have a new job, files, organized, no junk. My desk is clean as can be. I started there. So we can make... Stop extra mail, unsolicited phone calls, and junk emails. I don't read junk emails. As soon as I see the words, the letters F, W, D, what does that stand for, everybody? Forward. forward. I delete it. So if you're sending me a forward and you're saying, Ellen, I'm giving you a million dollars, I don't know about it because I've already deleted it before I even open it. I can't read forwards. because I, Remember, some people forward, forward, forward. I can't read it. Also, unsolicited phone calls. You get a, a call, you see that it's from San Diego, you don't know a soul in San Diego, you go, hello, and then there's a pause, pause. Mrs. McCauley, they always say your name wrong, and before they even go any further, I say, take me off your list. Click, because you have to say, take me off your list, and if that's recorded, they have to take you off their list. Most of the time, you get, there's email things, Facebook clutter. You know, I like to see pictures of people's grandchildren and things, but do you ever notice how much time you can waste trolling through Facebook, looking at everything, all the cartoons, all the videos? I don't do that. There's a whole list. You want to redu reduce your junk mail? There's a website. You want to get out of credit card offers? There's a website. You want to not be called? There's a website. Plan before you buy. How many pairs of white capri pants do you need? 
If you have more than three pairs of white capri pants, you have too many. Now my sister, who doesn't keep the papers from her kids growing up, has 17 pairs of white capri pants. So you see, we all have issues. They just manifest themselves differently. Think before you buy. Somebody came up to me tonight and says, Ellen, I get a lot of kale. There's only one of me. Can I bring some extra kale in for you and Bob? And I said, absolutely. So she's already thinking, I'm going to share my kale. We can eat the kale. It's not like it's going to stack up in my dining room table. It better not, at least. <laughs> Who can I borrow this from or share it with? Do I already have this item? Did you ever buy something because you couldn't find the original item? Oh, yeah. How many times do you buy something because you can't find it? Don't always accept freebies. There's a word we can learn. It's actually a phrase, and it's, no thank you. No thank you. I appreciate it, but no thank you. Ask for the gifts you want. You don't need to be surprised, because usually when you're surprised, you get surprised. You're like, what? I want this? And you're like, thank you. I love it. You know? I'm going to stop right there, Mom.